Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 5 of Lots of Giants. The last episode, we got ourselves some gears, some light bulbs, brought up some rock clops from the surface. Probably not a smart idea, but this is Lots of Giants. We do what we want. Uh, been, been healing up a little bit, so I'm sorry, Butterfly, you need to come back here. We're doing pretty good on health now, but we were like 90 or so at the end of the last episode, or towards the end. Got a bunch of charcoal, and we are ready to make ourselves... Uh, I'm probably going to do drying racks and crockpots, obviously. We have the gears now, so I'm going to center an ice box and build crockpots around it. If I have extra charcoal, probably a good idea to do some jerky, just considering, I mean, sanity is going to be a big issue with this character. Uh, granted, we have cactus, but cactus does not last that long, and it's always nice just to have a variety, and if anything else, I can then use that meat as filler for something. I don't know. I just like having my uh, crock pot full of goodies. <laughs> Quote that one. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I love having the crock pot just full of, or the ice box full of goodies for the crock pot. Being able to make a very, uh, a v varied amount of foods is good because this character, man, I'm gonna have to baby his h hunger, health, and sanity. I'm always gonna have to have something, some recipe ready to go for him. Cause every time we transform, rip stats. And obviously, I want to be able to recover quickly for a boss fight. Uh, I just that, that's something that needs to be just there, just needs to be at the ready. Uh, do I even need flowers? I mean, I need the rot, but I guess I should start picking up the flowers and keeping them. That's something I haven't been doing so much this run because I wanted to save the flowers uh, for for sanity for like the first transformation. But I think we're at the point where it doesn't matter. So. Since I'm so close to the wormhole, I think I'll, I'll duck on through. Also, yeah, we, we found the uh, walrus camp last episode. I forgot to mention that. But uh, since I know where the wormhole is, since we're close to it, let's hop through it, go to base, drop some stuff off, free up the inventory, and then resume exploring. Because, as you can see, there's seven days until winter rolls around. We only have seven days to find beefalo, try to get a beefalo hat, uh, make ourselves some thermals, try to, try to take care of temperature coming up. And I also want to get crops planted down and at least try to get them to grow before the season changes. Otherwise, we're relying on what's left in the world and, of course, the, the tumbleweeds, the, the mighty tumbleweed. <laughs> cannot, uh, cannot forget about the tumbleweeds, man. We have enough pigskin to last us pretty much the entire run, so we should be fine in that respect. Here you go, wormhole. You, you, you know you want it. Oh, baby. But <laughs> there you go. Feed the wormhole, come out on the other side, and you get stuffs. Noise. Alright, I don't really know what he just said right there. I wasn't reading it. Something about gross in there? I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh, berry. Alright. But I, I need to get rot, because we need fertilizer. Um, yeah, that's important. And I want to get this ice box up and running. I want to try to prolong the light bulbs for as long as I can. I also want to make a bug net so I can make a, uh, or get a stack of fireflies. His sound he makes is so awkward. <laughs> All right. Um, the ice box is going to come first. Now I need to make some cut stone, which I should have plenty. And I am pretty sure I'm just going to have to, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to wait until winter at this rate. Like, there is... There's jack shit for ice in this world that I've... Ah, I didn't mean to eat that. Jack shit for ice that i found in this world. So that's, that's, that's not good. And it's not good at all. Uh, if we're going to put it here, probably the flingo will go about there. Centering probably right around here is okay. That should be fine. So put you there and let's just... Let's just drop all of them off minus the minus the handful. You know what? First, let's just make this before I forget. I'm, I'm going to forget. I think it's two rope for my lantern. Let me just make the lantern first. Yeah, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Faster, faster, faster. Alright, put the rest in there to prolong the inevitable. Store my green caps, the meat, and let's start placing down our crops as well, our farm. Oh, I say crops. Alright, sorry tree, you gotta go. Num, 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 yes. You get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm hearing a mosquito. And that's all the way from the swamp. The farms usually go over here, so why the hell not? And again, the crock, or not the crock pot, the flingo is going to go about there. So if I start planting you guys right around here, you should totes my goats be protected. Uh, mosquito, I hear you down there, but I just don't want to deal with you right now. You go away, son. So we have two stacks of grass, uh, tufts, and saplings. So that pretty much takes care of all my, uh, all my grass and twig woes. It should, anyway, once I get it fertilized. But, uh, yeah, I, I gotta start picking up all of the... All, all of the flower petals or something. 
or find the beef low. And with the bone shards we have, just make some fertilizer. Or buckets of poop for fertilizer. That'll work too. Alright, uh, one more, one more. And we have extra logs. Of course, we're woody. We have uh, logs for days, so no, no worries there. And the fling is going to go there. I just don't want to get too close because I don't want to fuck with the, the range that it has. Or, or the placement radius on it or whatever. I want to be able to place the flingo where it normally goes. And again, what does, what does perfect placement with a flingo mean matter in Lots of Giants, huh? It doesn't mean jack shit. <laughs> we do what we want. Alright, the other ten. I thought I got another ten, or did I have them? What did I do with them? Yeah, they're here. Duh. Let's get them placed down as well. And the berry bushes. Still haven't figured out where I'm going to place them. Yeah, if the flingo is going here, this should protect it. I just don't want to have to dig it up later. But yeah, I would totally like to have the flingo down first. I always build based off of a flingo. That is a misplaced if I've ever saw one. Fix that. Alright, so we've got to start thinking, how are we going to deal with these bosses? We have a crappy spear. That's meh. That's not going to do too much work. I'd prefer to up the ante, maybe get some tentacle spikes. Finding Chester would be huge because Chester would help me kill the tentacles really easily. I mean, I could, like, go farm them when I'm a beaver and just have logs there to heal and such. I guess I'll just take all these out. But, uh, for now... Juno. I don't feel like dicking around with them. Alright, I would like it to be day so I can see exactly where that stuff's being placed down with geometric placement. Also, a purple gem. Sure. Just, just drop you off there. Ah, the eggs. Almost forgot. Put those away. Nice. Didn't mean to pre-craft one of those, but I have enough gears that I don't even care, and it actually does me well to have an extra icebox pre-crafted. And if anything, I can put a thermal in it somewhere else for summer. Oh, yeah. I didn't fuck that up, did I? I may have fucked that up. Yeah, it's okay. No, I totally fucked that up. I was not paying attention. I didn't put that down low enough. I wonder, can I squeeze another crock pot there? Screw it. Let's stick around. Let's make this different from the norm. Let's make this slightly different. Can I add another crock pot? That's off kilter anyway. But I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, let's do three more. Ah, let's do six. I want to see if I can squeeze an extra crock pot in there. I mean, more crock pots the merrier, right? Like, I'm not trying to... This, this is learning here. Now, if, I, if I'd if i moved you back, I bet I could. But can I reach this crock pot? Oh, I can. I can reach the crock pot from the icebox. Nice. So I bet if I put this crock pot over... <laughs> I kind of want to hammer it down and figure this out. I'm curious now. Hammer, 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 hammer. Yes, I do have a hammer on me. And yeah, we'll lose some charcoal, but... I could rip all those trees if I needed to. It's fine. It is fine. For science. For science. For lots of giants, for science. So this is on the right. It's like inverted from what I normally would do. Uh, I need two more charcoal and another twig. So this is a, this is a good reason to get back out there and explore and burn some more shit down. I don't want to burn that, uh, that tree farm right there. That'd be a bad idea. It's too close for comfort. The fungo is going to go probably right there. So... I am just going to plant you over here. Screw it. Get your place down. Let's get back out there. Let's get exploring and let's bring back rot. Let's bring back, um, uh, what do you call it? Charcoal and twigs. Don't need to get any more twigs like the saplings, but I do need to get more twigs themselves. All right. Hammer should no longer be needed for the trip. I've got my light source taken care of. Grass and twigs again. They're the issue. So exploring. I can't do anything with the gears, no point in leaving them in my inventory now, unless I find just a boatload of ice. And that's 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 not going to be enough. I think, like I said before, we'll have to wait till it's winter and the pangol start spawning to get the ice needed. Now, that explore, that's that been explored, that doesn't go anywhere else. Uh, we definitely want to farm mac tusk whenever winter rolls around. Probably a good idea would be just, yeah, to hop through the wormhole and then follow the road down and explore whatever might be here. Mm, harvesting all the resources along the way. So, food don't really have anything on my person. And what do I want to make? What do I want to make? Uh, I'm just going to bring the stale meat and live off the land for a bit and start bringing back resources for that. So we'll bring back... Um, all the buzzards are tripping my... <laughs> you bastards. The bu I'll have to start farming the buzzards for food. That, that's a really good food source too when you farm them up. Uh, either go farm up the hounds again for some monster meat, but we need to get filler. 
Yeah, let's, let's 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 just get exploring and pull back a bunch of crap. A cactus run would be a good idea too. Again, filler for pierogies. It's a veggie, and it's also just used in meatballs. Mm, cactus. It was gross in there. That's what he says. All right. Let's not paying attention at first. Ah, that's something I forgot to do. But I have a science machine. Then again, is that an alchemy engine? No, it's a science machine. Nice. I can slap that down. Pick up the silk that's over here from the spooters, and because we're in the deciduous. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it, but then again, I have a shit ton of light, uh, light bulbs. What, what I'm debating is making the bug net to capture fireflies to use those as a light source, because they're, they're obviously permanent compared to light bulbs. But let's pick this stuff up. I'm not really worried about keeping my sanity too high as Woody, because uh, of transformations and whatnot, but I want it for rot, and there's some rot. <laughs> I do got to go burn some trees. Let me find a big grouping of them, and we'll take care of that. Hey, Keck, what's he say about wet goop? Oh, yeah, better than something I've, I've eaten. What a stump. Ah! <laughs> oh, another flower. He's totally going after that, uh, that mole worm. Here, here. I'll take the food. Come on, jump up. Come out of the ground. You know you want to. It's totally worth it. Not worth it. Did not mean to attack the cacoon, but I'll... You know what? Woody doesn't like cacoons. Maybe I should kill it. Oh, never mind. You know what? He'd be aggroed. Fuck it. I'll let him live for now. Screw it. Give me that seed. Um, I mean, if I burnt that down, I am guaranteed more charcoal than I could ever use. And it shouldn't spread too far. It may jump, but, like, that'd be all the charcoal I'd ever need. That's pretty tempting. And charcoal, obviously, a great fuel source. So, I'm thinking of doing that. Does that make me a horrible person? <laughs> I'm thinking of doing that. Let me chop some of these down to get some birch nuts going. Birch nuts, again, will be super useful to leave in that ice box for trail mix. That'll take care of a little bit of hunger, but mainly my HP issues that'll arise. Because I probably want to dick around a rare beaver form a good bit. Just, you know, it's a different thing. Let's try it. Let's try to take advantage of one of his abilities. Uh, maximize it. Capitalize on it. Whatever you want to say. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to rip that forest. Carrots, sure. Definitely want to start harvesting these. I kind of want to wait until it's night to then rely on the light source from it so I can stay busy. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, there's, yeah, there's a fair amount. You know what? I need one more berry bush to <laughs> make the uh, little, little berry plantation up there even. And I can go around harvesting these berries, use them as filler. And then I can get the grass that's over there in that biome because I definitely need it. Why don't we do that? The grass and twigs are all over there. I need them both. We'll eat you. I'm definitely going to get more berries here soon, so what's it matter? Let's just get rid of these. We'll keep that in our inventory because that's going to be something we end up stacking with. Uh, digging up grays. I can get tons of trinkets and tons of gold. There's definitely more gold to be had over there. I think we also have a bunch of trinkets from the tumbleweeds. I've got a gourd's knot and a rubber bung up north. I hear a piggy running. Hey, buddy. A boulder. Oh yeah, I already examined that. What about a regular lumpy? Lucy would want me to chop it down a normal lumpy? No? Or not not a regular and a normal? <laughs> a dead lumpy and a normal. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> oh my god. Well, there goes my grass and twigs. Hey, a clue. Eh. That would take care of food. But like... I have a, I have a current goal. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I can burn the forest down in the morning. What's the matter, right? Screw it. Let's see. I don't know where that track went. It's hiding behind trees, probably. Let me go back and look at the, the footprint once more. It's definitely just this way. Where is it? Are you hiding behind a tree or something silly? Yep, right there. I was hiding behind a tree. Couldn't see it. We'll burn the forest down later. The forest isn't going anywhere, obviously. Okay, where's this track? There it is. Nice. It's hard to follow those things through the damn forest. You have to rotate your camera quite a bit. Those could probably be used for D-Fly. Ooh, nice. That's something else I haven't done yet either, yeah. Which I really should do here soon. Start mining this crap up. Uh, I need to make myself the double endos for D-Fly. Uh, sure, I've got an inventory slot for you. And I can place you down. The track was up here, right? Uh, yep, okay. Let's get that thing plopped down. And he just won 80. Good job. Where are you at, Qualifant and or Warg? 
Obviously, I want to wait until he says he knows that it's uh, it's coming up here shortly and then stop, because if I press the issue... I only need one purple gem. If I press the issue, could end up walking into a warg. Let's not do that. Uh, track, 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 track. Nice. Okay, the beastie is nearby, he says. Alright, let's not go too far. Burn that down. I can pick it all up for nightmare fuel, but I'll probably end up going insane after where we reform anyway for tons and tons of nightmare fuel. So I'm not really worried about it. I don't want to kill the torch completely because I'm going to use it here soon. Uh, to burn the forest down. Let's not completely kill it off. Just pissing some time away before it is daylight. Come on. Hurry up. I want to go see what we have over here. Alright, so it was this way. Ah, it's qualifying. Okay, no work. Now, I obviously want to harvest all this shit, get, get a, a supply going. And let's just walk in the wall. Quite a bit of stuff I need to pick up. Hey, buddy. This is nice. This, this biome is abundant with the resources that I need, the basics. Go away, mole worm. Stealing all my flint. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's a corner, man. Ooh, that's a corner. How are you going to handle this? Hmm? How are you going to handle this? Qualifant, how are you going to handle this? You going to get stuck in the corner? Like a good qualifant? Are you going to get stuck like a good qualifant, or are you going to be an uncooperative qualifant? I wouldn't put it past you. Ah, uh, no. No. We're not, we're not finding, like, the edge that I need. Down here, yeah. Let's, go, let's, let's, let's just kite him this way. Ooh. Oh, I almost got him. Gotta get him to walk against the wall. Don't need to kill the butterfly right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Here we go. No. Uncooperative qual- There it is. Oh, there it was. Uncooperative qualifant. Every now and then you get one that just knows how to fucking kite. I swear. Some of them are stupid. And then you just wait till it's night and you kill them. You motherfucker. There it is. All right. Uh, I swear, every again, every now and then you get a qualifant who's really good at kiting. And then you get the one who just stands there like a living potato. This one was a little bit smarter than the average qualifant. But, uh, the key word there was was. <laughs> there we go. Tons of food now. Food's taken care of. I want grass. I want twigs. I want uh, some some basics here. Tons of freaking... Oh my god, what's with all the butterflies, man? Jeez. Alright, um... Bee box would be cool, but like... I don't really need it. And it's gonna be winter anyway, so they're not really gonna do much. I'm not gonna worry about a bee box right now. I usually don't worry about the bee boxes. Honestly, if you rushed bee boxes and you had like three or four of them, you could just straight up live off of honey because you can put all that in the ice box and it's going to last forever anyway. So, could totes my goats go for that? I'm going to drop this one rot because this is all going to be rot anyway. And I need one of you to finish off the... <laughs> to, to make it look pretty at base. But I'll take extra berries, extra filler, extra grass, extra twigs, build up a supply, and we will go back home. Throw this into a chest, let it start rotting. And the unfortunate thing is I can't fertilize it anytime soon. Uh, my, my crops, that is, to get them to grow, my, my, my grass. So I'm not going to have that luxury. Probably not going to have a ton of grass going into winter. Ah, uh, three logs. Fuck it. Did I pre-craft a fire? I did. What's the matter? And then I definitely want to go mine those gold rocks. Uh, that'll, that's going to be important because I still have to go slap down... One, I have to slap down an endo in base. Two, I have to put down an endo somewhere, well, two endos where I can use it to fight D-Fly. And I have not done that yet. And that's going to rip both my grass, or not my grass, it's going to rip both my, uh, my, my rock supply and my gold supply. And speaking of supplies, I don't know how much I have when it comes down to Niter. I don't think it's a lot. So, yeah, I do need to go mining. Wouldn't be bad if we could come across Chester. Chester would help me uh, <laughs> lug some of these things back home. Uh, let's see. We have that little rinky dink biome, and then we just don't. We just don't have a lot of lot of rocks and gold. Gonna end up relying on the picking, I think, quite a bit. Meh, meh. All right, let's just hurry up and get a get this twig supply taken care of. And I'll probably drop off like half the stack at home and set back out to explore. Because I don't have another inventory slot to sacrifice here. Extra berries again, more filler, tons and tons of meat though. So food for a while is absolutely taken care of. A koala and trunk is going to do work. Alright, just drop you. That is for fertilizer. And we can continue to pick up grass. Okay, sanity is now maxed. Nice. But uh, let's just harvest a little bit more of this. And yeah, I want to turn around. I want to go home and drop the stuff off. 
drop off the extra logs we've got. Uh, get the other berry bush planted down, drop off the rot. And I can I can mine a bit here though. I do have some inventory. When it comes down to gold, I have a I have a stack already there. Nice. I could drop the charcoal. I did want more charcoal though. So maybe that's not the brightest of ideas. Uh, these molars are gonna have a field day with this stuff if I leave it behind. I leave it too close to them. I might eat that morsel. Uh, yeah, I can eat that. I can turn it into an egg. I'm not gonna have eggs at home. I can use those fillers for bacon and eggs. Decisions, decisions, man. I need to free up a slot. The birch nuts. Hmm. I have tons of them at home. I'm gonna be able to make enough trail mix. I think I'll be okay. So I'm just gonna plant them. Let them grow. It's a good idea, yeah. Just uh, plant a bajillion and one saplings and birch nuts or pine cones and birch nuts as Woody. Uh, later on, if I ever wear beaver here and I need to maintain the transformation, it's probably a good idea to have tons and tons of trees at my disposal. And hey, it's almost night, so we can go burn that forest down and pick our charcoal. I wanted to do it last night, but uh, plans change, man. Plans, plans change. All right, cannot carry any more flint. Okie doke. Uh, I'll just leave it on the ground there. If we come back here and it's all gone, we know the molars took it. We'll just dig up their burrows, and we will be fine. I do have enough fertilizer, though. I have 15, uh, well, I will have enough fertilizer. I have 15 uh, petals there that'll rot up. That'll take care of the vast majority of the grass. By then, I think we'll have found our beef flow and we'll have some dookie to work with. But I do need to get exploring here. Five days left. I'm getting tons of niter for a very specific reason. We're going to use a good bit of it here for the uh, the fire pits. The mendos, though. Take, take the rocks, absolutely. And get more gold, because two... Gold to one doodad, yeah. That's gonna that's gonna hurt. And it's gonna hurt them resources. Uh, no flint, no flint. Gold please. Thank you. Rocks. Coming up on a stack here. We're over a half one. More niter. Yeah, niter right now is really important. I do not have a lot at home. Alright, rip pickaxe. Um I'm gonna make a flint one. It seems silly, I know, but now I can pick up some flint. <laughs> I'm trying to save my gold at the moment. Uh, it's night. Let's go rip that forest. Let's go rip that forest. We'll we'll get a, get by with a light from it. And hell, I could sacrifice the torch then too. Yeah, let's do that. I'll get rid of the torch and um, that'll free up a slot, and then I can just carry back more stuff. All right, screw it. We're going with that. I like that plan. Give me that flower quick before before it burns. Bye forest. Bye forest. Shouldn't really need to carry this torch anymore. And I'm I'm hoping the saw spreads, but if it doesn't, I will I will definitely coax it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, you asked for it, Forrest. You're supposed to do that all on your own, but you didn't want to. Here, I'll help you with that. Here, let me let me help you with that. <laughs> Rip, Forrest. All right. Uh, While well, that's doing its thing, <laughs> I'll just keep mining. Hmm. This this is okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, I swear. Every I, I said it before. Every time I burn a forest down, now in DS, I always think of that that dog with a house on fire picture. This is fine. That, that's, that's me right now. I uh, definitely want to start chopping these down. There's a piggy over there who's getting ripped. I can hear him. Poor piggy. Lucy, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Destruction. Stupid tree. I don't know if I saw her say stupid tree yet. Let me just have him paying attention. Oh. Oh, sorry, Spooter. Alright, so the, uh, the fire is... <laughs> the fire's like running off from me. It's running away. It doesn't love me anymore. Just like everything else in life. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, the pine cone ain't gonna last long. Let's burn these babby trees. There we go. Awesome. Oh, keep the joke. So while that goes, it's back to the charcoal grind. And now we have light. So I'm just gonna leave that torch on the ground. I should not need it anymore. Yes! Every time, every tree I chop, she has to comment. She's so obnoxious. Okay, it's raining. All right, if we get lightning, it's no big deal. When we get back to base, we already have that lightning rod plopped down. We are good to go. And I think I'm going to mine the rest of those rocks, though, before I go home. And hey, look, it looks like we had some ice uh, form up there. Should probably go back for that, too. Hmm, I could eat the koala trunk. I already have the breezy vest at home. It's 18%, yes, but I can repair it. And I almost always just use this for food. Grip a slot and fill me. Uh, fill me up. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. But guys, the episode is running a bit long. It is time to wrap it up here. Episode 5 of Loss of Giants. Sorry to say. But uh, I wanted to explore more of this episode. But I mean, 
resources right now are kind of low, and winter's fast approaching, so I needed to get on that. We only have the three days. I think it was day 17. Yeah, day 17. I have not found the beefo. I do not have a horn. And unless I want to live off of uh, a thermal stone for warmth, which is awful, I uh, most certainly need to find the beefalo. Um, doing a doing a, a winter hat still requires wool, but that's nowhere near as good. Unless we can get lucky and get that tam from the get go, <laughs> that would be nice. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't count on it. But uh, right up here, guys. Episode five. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.